Now, my quick and steady thoughts on the post-electoral results. Let's just say I'm not too surprised uh, Mayor John Tory took the win. I'm actually quite surprised Francis Sanziata didn't actually, uh, you know, get pushed out. But it was a damn, damn close one. Very close one. Literally neck and neck. Yet again, Kiara. So, that was a real close one. Kiara could have won. And Buddha Francis is bought out. But it didn't happen. So, shit happens. It's because people vote. And if uh, more voted with the New York Southwest, then, uh, well, maybe that would have been a different outcome. Completely. Would have been a real different outcome. Hmm. Let's hope that happens next time. Yes, political fatigue, voting fatigue, mixing it up, and uh, all that bollocks relating to the pandemic, French interference, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, that does take a toll on people, but luckily it didn't take a toll on me. I still went out and voted. I cast my vote. Did you? Hopefully you did. Anyways, it's our democratic right to vote. If we couldn't vote, what the hell would we be living? What the fuck would uh, Toronto be like? Or much less Ontario, much less Canada. If elections weren't held, period, or were impossible, we'd be communists. But we're not. That's why you should vote next time. Remember that. Catch your vote. Do for the hell of it. Roll a dice. And just vote for a person's name if you don't know them. You know? As simple as it gets. If I can't decide, I literally fucking roll a pair of dice and see which number shows up. Well, in the case of Beyond 12, uh. Well, that's a bit complex there. A handful of dice, maybe? Uh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd share my thoughts. Have a good day, people. Thank you for watching, and feel free to subscribe. Doesn't cost a goddamn nickel. Laters.